to get a shot of your time trial bike, Rowan. It's pretty easy for us. Actually, it's just a There's been some transport issues here in Sydney. We've just had some really, really bad lightning. It's Saturday night. Tomorrow is the road race. I'm flying down. Tomorrow, 7 a.m. flight to Tullamarine. Driving up from there. That's where this continues. So good morning. Well, this is not how I kind of planned it, is it? Which is a bit unfortunate, yeah. So basically, guys, last night in Sydney, we had some pretty serious storms. New South Wales trains weren't really able to uh, tell me what time the, the, the train would leave. So at that stage, it was looking like, so it was meant to be an 8.35, they were saying maybe 9.35 without an actual departure time. End of the day, I had to make the call. So logistics today, guys, 7 a.m. flight. Uh, so I was up at 4.30, 7 a.m. flight. Down to Tullamarine, I'm gonna pick up a car, drive straight up to Ballarat. Uh, it's about an hour and a half drive. Again, it's, it, 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 this is tight. This is this is tight. I'm, I'm aiming to be at Bunyong at 11. That's my goal. Race is at 12.30. Should be all right, should be all right. Uh, thank you to Mush for the lend of your Cyclone 2. Uh, last time I ran a Cyclone bag, your rear seat stay snapped, so hopefully we don't have those incidents again. Okay, nutrition guys. So, I had some wheat picks there before I left, just about five. Uh, obviously, I'm doing a big race today, so I had some wheat bits. Uh, but what I'm trying to do is save my main kind of meal to probably like 10.30. Uh, I've brought like a big pack of oats, um, sultanas, nuts, that kind of stuff, bananas. And that'll be my big meal. I'll just keep it really clean, really simple all day. And just keep hydrating. I might even do the whole sparkling water thing. The cliche, isn't it? Uh, bags, car and then talk about his race. So we're looking good, guys. We're looking good. That looks like about a 10, 20 arrival uh, at Mount Bunanyong. Now, so that's my next little thing to chat about here. So I'm going to head straight to Bunanyong, which is like the town just outside of Ballarat where this well, this whole thing takes place. So, like, this is my little experience of it, right? But but this event, the whole Australian National Champion stuff, like, it's a, it's a week-long event. You've got, you know, all the different age groups. You've got the para guys down there. You've got the juniors. Now then you've got the crit. You've got the road race. You've got the time. So the reason we don't sort of do it so much as a, as a team thing is literally because of the guys are just doing lots of different races. So you've got obviously someone doing the under 19 juniors crit on like Wednesday. And then, you know, there's other people just doing the time trial on the following Tuesday. Last year we did, and I'll be honest, I blew way too much of the race budget 
on the week and it just felt like a waste because it never really felt like a team event. Well, it's not an, ind it's, you know what I mean? You know what I'm sort of saying with that. Today, today is, well, for us, I think it's about 180 Ks. It's uh, 16 or 18 laps, do the maths, of a uh, 12 and a half K circuit. The last thing I just wanted to say, guys, is I had reservations about doing a daily vlog thing for this race. And and the main reason is I, I don't want this to come across like I'm, I'm sort of disrespecting the race. But by that I mean like I'm taking this race very seriously like I, I, I've trained hard for it I've made some sacrifices for it I, I want to do well at it so I didn't want this to come across as that and I take the responsibility of me being in this race seriously does that make sense like I, I don't um, I don't you know it's not a joke all right it's fun but it's it's not a joke and I, and I really think I hope that comes across Next stop coming on. Across not, the a, not at all. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> See, I'm close, right? But I've got to get up to because there's lots of diversions and everything in place. I need to get up and over to the uh, team car. Yeah, which is up there. And I've got to get up there. Got up at 4 30. 5 30, 6 30, 7 30, 8 30, 9 30, 10 30. And I'm arriving at Mount Bunyong. Howdy. <laughs> Here we go. Now Al told me to look for the world's biggest motorhome. Well there's the Mitchell and Scott ones. So they're a protein. We'll go past them. There's the informed troops. Oh yes. How are ya? Not too bad. Made it. Yeah. <laughs> oh hello. Yes, Happy mate. New Year. Happy New Year. What happened yesterday, mate? Oh, my, my chain snapped. Yeah, yeah. excuse. Unlucky. Yeah. <laughs> I'm whinging a little bit about vehicle things lately. Well, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no, so this is a temporary thing. Big thanks to the guys at JCar for setting uh, setting Al up, really, for this. Because like I said, he's been down here all week. It's his whole long event. It's my first time in here. Uh, right, I'm going to get some breakfast into me and uh, go and chat to the guys because... I haven't seen these guys yet. How we used to run Feels we're roaring You said maybe it's like Am I allowed to get a shot of your time trial bike, Rowan? Sarah, 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 it's pretty easy for it. Actually, it's just a combination of S-A-R-A-H. Uh, I mean, the boys are all here. It's a really good vibe about it. So we're just going to get in and have a crack now. Um, I might just quickly show you what food I'm running, actually. It's a pretty wide selection. Um, I'll try and eat solids for really the first couple of hours as much as possible. Uh, and then move to gels after that. Because that's where we'll end up, isn't it? Sign on. Angus Wilson's here, he's pumped, Jay's pumped, Sammy's pumped. I'll hand you over to whoever is in charge of this camera from here on in. So we've just been told Sam Hill is in the break at the moment. 34 riders off the front, about 200 metres ahead. Sam Hill's still in there. Mitchell and Scott are on the front and driving. There's a gap of about a minute 22. car two today in the convoy so we're right up the front um, 
even under the pump um, when you're at the front because you've got to drive you know, really well and make sure you avoid everyone that's getting dropped. So. Oh. The men's race as well, Carly. Well, Thanks, mate. Carly, it's oh, you're dropping you're in you're the pump. Right. 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 Look at this. Look at this. one of the last people to get on the plane. <laughs> but Michael Freeberg is your Australian National Road Champion. Off? Yeah, off. Okay. Turn it off. Bye bye. See you later. Nothing about... No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nothing about this Nationals vlog is as we thought it would be. Uh, it didn't start out the way we thought. We didn't finish the way we thought. Didn't have any battery, seemingly, in any of the friggin' cameras. Um, thank you very much, Robbie Matthews, for taking those uh, GoPros around and getting something from us. Though I do have to laugh right you down there and let the Melbourne guys are like, oh, I had to drive like an hour and five minutes to get here. I'm like, cool. Michael Freeberg. Yeah. Sorry, that's just the tiniest violin. Tiniest violin, yeah. yeah. Get over it, Chris. Um, Elizabeth and the kids saw me on TV, that was cool. Uh, and Michael Freeberg won the race. Now, uh, that's free and awesome because he's a good guy, he's a good dude. I think he's even been on this vlog at some point, but um, he's a domestic pro and now he's the Australian national champion. And that's, that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. See, the racing in this country is damn good. But he's also very good. I have no idea. I have no idea what is in this video. None. None. None at all. Do you have any idea, Elizabeth? <laughs> Lots of Robbie Matthews. <laughs> Could be hey, a lot Robbie. of Robbie Matthews here. <laughs> so you came here for cycling insights and you left completely confused. <laughs> uh, Standard practice for Andrew's part. Done. He told me to go further up and stand up on the front for the whole climb. And it was kind of cool. Smoother and well, smoother and easier. Yeah. But I will say there was a little froth moment for me uh, when, like, you're going up the climb and everyone's sort of shouting, uh, "Go, go, Heinrich!" He looks very good on a bike. I'm just gonna say that. Looks like he was born to be on a bike. That's probably a bit creepy to say. I'll come. I'll put that in. 